sooner or later in your boating career, you're probably going to encounter a lock, which is right in front of us. Locks are put into waterways where you have a pretty significant difference in the height of the water on one side versus the other. If a lock wasn't there, the current going through this little canal here would be ferocious and very turbulent. Uh, could cause a lot of accidents. Now, here we are at Canaveral Lock in Cape Canaveral, Florida. The tidal difference here isn't so great, but when you get up in the northeast, for example, Shinnecock in Long Island, it's a tremendous difference. So you need to know the proper procedure for running locks safely. So the first thing you want to do when approaching a lock is find out what the frequency is of the lock and then give them a call on the radio. At Canaveral, it's channel 13, so let's give them a call. Canaveral lock, Canaveral lock. This is Sea Ray 44 requesting an opening. Uh, we're heading eastbound. Roger that, sir. If you would kindly please stand by for green light. Standing by for the light. Okay, now as you can see, over there on the right, there's a little traffic light. It's blinking red, so that means I need to stop right here. They've started opening the lock, and I can tell you the current is with me, and I've got to do some maneuvering here to stay in position and not get swept through the lock until it's time. The current isn't too bad right here, but in places like Shinnecock, it can be very bad. It's another reason why you want to stay clear of all other boats, too, because everybody's going to be maneuvering around in here. Okay, so the lock is completely open. We've got a blinking green light over there. And what we want to do is proceed into the lock slowly. You can see the other end of the lock is closed, so that'll stop the current flow. And what we're going to do is move into the lock and head as far forward as need be in case there's other boats behind us. And we're going to tie up loosely on our starboard side. As you can see, we've got some marine life in front of us too. Manatees and dolphins right straight ahead, so we got to watch out for them. So in preparation for tying up, we've got crew up on the bow. He's going to hang a couple of fenders and maybe just one line. And in this situation here, I've got a little bit of a crosswind coming across from port to starboard. That's why I'm staying off of the rails, because it could push me on there before I'm ready. The lock master asks us to go all the way up forward, so that's what we're going to do. I picked my spot, now I'm going to start making my way over to the rail. And we're just going to drift right in like this here. So now we wait. The, the locks uh, were built in 1965. They, uh, the uh, official date was, uh, I think it was August 23rd, 65. They had a dedication day. There's about 80 boats in here. At low tide, it can be a real nasty inlet. Through the year, it averages about, about a five to six foot tide range. But on that gauge right there, that's a depth gauge. It shows the, what it is to the top of the sill where the gate sits on. Uh, High tide can get as high as 19 and 20 and get down. I've seen the bottom of the scale recently, uh, 12 is it. But that, that's the extremes. All right, now as you can see, they're starting to open the eastbound lock and look at the water rushing through there. This is why you want to be tied up securely inside the lock so you don't get swept out there. Okay, now you can see the lock is fully open. We just got the whistle from the lock master. So we can shove off. C Ray 44, can I have a lock, Jennifer? C Ray 44, go ahead. Roger, Gabby, you may proceed to exit. Thank you very much. C Ray 44, standing by 13. The locks in this country are built and maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And in Florida, there's a great brochure if you're coming down here going across the state or through the Canaveral area. There's a brochure here called Locking Through the Okeechobee Waterway and Canaveral Harbor. It has lots of great information, priority about who goes when through the locks. Commercial vessels have priority over you, some phone numbers, and so on. If you'd like to order some of these in advance, you can go to their website at www.saj.usace.army. Dot mill, or you can write to them, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, South Florida Operations Office, Clewiston, Florida, 33440.